Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, hojagi, and embroidery. The Shoe Fly Quilt Block is a traditional quilt block that is easy to make, but there are hundreds of different variations, ways that you can use this in a quilt. To make the Shoe Fly Quilt Block, all we need is four square units. Now to make a 12 inch finished block, each piece is going to be four and a half inches. So we're going to need a four and a half inch square of the feature fabric, four four and a half inch squares of the background color fabric, and then four four and a half inch squares that are made with half square triangles. Now there are a lot of different variations, ways that you can make this half square triangle unit. Uh, my favorite way for this block would be to use the two at a time method where you would cut five inch squares, mark a diagonal line, stitch on either side, cut it and trim it to size. And you can see a whole tutorial of how to do that here. But there are many other ways to make half square triangle units so you can feel free to use your favorite method. So once you have all your pieces, you just lay them out in the orientation that they are in the block. And this block is pretty easy to put together. Some blocks you really have to double check because things easily get turned around. This block is pretty simple. So once you have it laid out, then you would begin joining in pairs. So you would join these two, these two, these two, and then join them into rows and then join the rows together and you'll have your finished block. If you enjoy the Shoe Fly Quilt Block, then be sure to check out my Shoe Fly Inspiration Workbook. This workbook comes with a full tutorial and measurements for how to make the Shoe Fly Block in different sizes. It comes with a whole bunch of inspiration layouts for ways that you can use this block to make quilts. And a lot of them don't even look like shoe fly blocks. And it comes with coloring pages so that you can design your own shoe fly quilts. So there's a link below to check out for that. And I would love to see pictures of shoe fly quilts that you've made. Mm -hmm.